Okay, so now a quick video to talk about controls on Google Maps. So I've got a web page, I've got a div with the ID map, and this is where I'm going to be putting my map on the page. I've got my key for the script in another JavaScript file. I'm listening for the DOM content loaded event. When that happens, I'm creating a brand new script tag, putting it in the head, and then I'm going to load my Google Maps script. So just like this, create the script, put it in the head of my document. Then I'm setting the source to the Google Maps API with my key appended to it. When that's done, that's going to trigger the load event for the script. And that's where I'm going to do the work. That's where I'm going to load my JavaScript and my Google Map will be created. Okay, inside here, here's my new Google Map command. This is going to create the map itself. I'm setting center coordinates. This is where I'm placing the middle of the map. So I've just arbitrarily picked a, a value somewhere around Ottawa. Zoom level, I'm putting a default on that. My map type ID, this is what kind of map I want to have at the very beginning, whether it's a road map, a hybrid, a satellite, showing the terrain or not. There's different kinds of maps that you can create. This is the one that I'm choosing for default for when the map loads. Restriction. If you want to put a bounding box on where the person's allowed to go with the map, so you could create a very small bounding box and it would only allow the person to move slightly. Um, I've got a fairly big one here, 10 degrees of latitude and uh, 40 degrees of longitude. So there's quite a big area, but we'll take a look at that and see how this works. Min zoom and max zoom. Well, those are just the levels of zoom, how far the person can zoom in. 17 is the maximum anyway, but I can only zoom out to level 10. Disable double click zoom. Well, by default, if you're double clicking with a mouse on a map, that's going to zoom in. Well, if you can, if you want, you can turn this to false like that. Then when the map loads, the person's not able to double click. You need the zoom control to zoom in and zoom out. Now that leads us into sort of the different controls. Disable default UI. There is a set of controls that get placed on the map by the Google Maps script when the map loads. And this set of controls will vary depending on how big the screen is, if it's on a mobile device, if it's on a desktop browser. But by saying disable default UI true, it's not going to put any controls on there unless you specifically tell it to. Okay, clickable icons. These are uh, icons that will show up on the map if you want the user to be able to click on those and see the info window with the information about that icon or about that location. Now, the individual controls themselves. We've disabled everything. We've set that to true. So none of the controls will be there unless we tell it to. Zoom control. That's the plus minus button. I've set that to true. Map type control. This is switching between hybrid and terrain and satellite and so on. Full screen control, if you want the person to be able to full screen the map. Scale control, that's the little line that shows you, so roughly about a centimeter on the screen, how big is that? Is that 50 meters? Is it a thousand meters? What is it? Street view control, that's the little person you can drag onto a map to get the street view. Now the rotate control, this is something that if you were zoomed in far enough and you're using the satellite map and Google Maps has a high enough resolution view of that area from different angles, it will let you do the tilt, the 45 degree angle view, and the rotate control will automatically appear to let you rotate to all the different angles that they have pictures of that area from. Um, now, for options, most of these controls also have options. So you can see zoom control, there's zoom control options. Map type control has map type control options. Most of them, it's just a position. Where on the map do you want to see it? So let's take a look at this map and see what we have. Here's my map and I can scroll around. I can't double click, but I can use the zoom control to move in and out like this. We can move around, zoom back in. We can switch between the satellite and the road map. There we go, zooming in like that. Here's the street view control down here. Uh, scale view, I said I did not want. I didn't want the scale control to be up here. Here's my full screen control. And the placement of these, that's the position property that we're adding to those control options. So as you move it around, you can 
use these things to change it up. Now that bounding box that we talked about earlier, the restrictions, I'm going to keep zooming out, zooming out there. I cannot zoom out anymore. So that is my minimum zoom. I've hit that min zoom, that level 10 right here, this min zoom, this bounding box that we talked about, the restrictions, these are the coordinates or the latitude and longitude that I'm allowed to stay within. So if I keep scrolling down here, eventually I'm going to hit a point where I, there it is. I cannot go any further south than that because I've hit the edge of that bounding box. All right, so position for the controls. That says where on the map you want it to appear. So left center for the zoom control. That's where it is right here. Now if I change that and I say right center, save it, come back in, now it's over here. So you can change the position of where you want these controls, whether or not you want them on the map. And that's really all about, about all there is. There's um, a few other options you'll see, like for map type, you'll get the map type IDs, which ones are available in that list, the style of the menu. But for most of them, it's just the position. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a link to this code as a code just in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.